Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com, and today we're going to talk about how to punch down a 12-port uh, uh, 66 type data uh, patch panel. These little patch panels are really nice. This uh, happens to be an ICC, but we sell other brands. And uh, what it is, it's, it's a little patch panel that sits on a 66 block standoff bracket. And these are great if you're only going to pull maybe 5 or 6 cables, or, or up to 12. Um, these little patch panels are inexpensive. Um, they're rated at Cat 5e, or you can even get them Cat 6, and uh, they're just as reliable as the patch panels that bolt to uh, the data racks. So this is what it looks like, um, and of course a little white place where you can uh, write down, uh, you know, the the jack number uh, when you number the jacks, and uh, it's made out of metal, and your your standard circuit boards are here, and your standard 110 punch down is here also. What I do is when this is attached to the backboard is I first hook it in backwards, upside down, so I can punch down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch down this one right here, even though it says number 12. I'm going to punch that one because it's closest to the camera. So first thing I have to do is I have to take my scissors. And again, these scissors are uh, the scissors that are used in uh, cabling. These are cabling scissors. They're not your normal scissors you use. Um, you know, to cut paper with. And you pull down a little bit. That's, that's more than enough. That's actually too much. I went too far. And you want to cut off the S excess along with the string. And you also want to cut off uh, the excess cable. And the reason you cut off this excess cable is as you were cutting off the outer covering of the cable, you most likely have uh, uh, caused dings um, to the copper uh, in the pairs and you don't want to do that so it's only an inch or two of cable you, you're cutting off but you just want to be safe and get a portion of the cable that does that had not been nicked uh, by the uh, scissors and if you use wire cutters it's going to nick the cable so you, that's why you want to pull back a little bit because it, it can cause problems when it's time to punch down now you want to keep your twist as tight as possible and you want to keep your your outer covering of the of the cable as tight as you can to the punch down. But once you get all the colors in the proper place, and you can color follow the color code that's right underneath it, once you get all the colors in the right place uh, and you push them all down, then it's time to punch them down. And this is called the punch down tool it has a blade that pushes it down and at the same time cuts off the excess and you see the excess being cut off to the right there and then when you're all done one of the things you do is you just take it out and you flip it over like that and of course you want to test these things yeah you should use a tester to make sure that it's uh, you know one end of the tester goes to the jack the other end goes to the port here and you just test to make sure that uh, it meets all the IEEE standards. Um, of course it has to be under 100 meters and if you're using CAT5E cable you can use CAT6 jacks and you can also use CAT6 patch panels but it's always going to be a, a CAT5E uh, install. So um, if you use a CAT6 cable and use CAT5E jacks and CAT5E patch panel it's going to be a CAT5E install. If you want a CAT6 install, you have to use um, all your components have to be rated at category 6. So um, uh, this is how you punch down a simple 66 type uh, data 12-port uh, uh, patch panel. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email us. And our website is cablesupply.com. Have a great day. Okay, now we're going to strip the cable. We're going to cut off the uh, string that's used to take off the outer cover. And then we're going to cut off the excess.
Now, when you're patching, when you're cutting, uh, punching down a uh, cable, what you want to do is you want to keep the twist as much as possible uh, all the way up to the punch down. And you want to follow the color code that's printed right on the cable. Let me show you before we punch down what it looks like. This is before you punch down. And of course you're going to have all the cables going in there, so that, that's the way you want it. And notice that the twists are kept as tight as possible uh, up into the punch down. Now I'm going to punch it down, but as I punch it down, it's going to cut the excess off. You can see the excess uh, being cut by the cutter. And there you go. And that's how you punch down a, uh, a patch panel. You want to keep this as short as possible, no longer than an inch. And you want your twists on your individual uh, cables as tight as possible all the way up to the punch down. You see the orange pair right there, how tight that is? You want to keep that as tight as possible all the way up to the punch down. So um, what you also want to do is when this is all done, this is up on, a, uh, on your uh, data rack, bolted to the data rack. When you're all done, you want to tie all the cables together using tie wraps. You know, of course, they will go all along here, uh, distributed to each area there. Um, so you want to tighten them down as, as tight as you can with tie wraps or without indenting wire. So you don't want to overdo it. But once you do all that, then you want to test your cables using a, uh, a cable certified uh, a cable tester that can certify the cables. Uh, I hope this answered your questions concerning uh, how to punch down a uh, patch panel and um, don't hesitate to uh, email if you have any questions or, if, uh, or even to visit our website if you have any questions. And the uh, website is www.cablesupply.com. Thank you.